New tonight, Governor Gavin Newsom just signed a law decriminalizing jaywalking in California. And keep in mind, it was a Sacramento case that spurred many to call for action. Just listen. No, you got to stay right here. Can't, you can't. You can't. Hey, 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 why are you doing him like that? You may remember this caught on camera incident from back in April 2017. A man being beaten by a Sacramento police officer during a jaywalking stop in South Sacramento. The video sparked outrage. The man ended up settling a lawsuit with the city for $550,000 and several reforms in the Sacramento Police Department. Well, now you'll soon be able to jaywalk in California without getting a ticket from the police, as long as it's safe to do so. That's because Governor Gavin Newsom just signed Assembly Bill 2147 into law, decriminalizing jaywalking. So decriminalizing it is a very positive step, and it should be done because people jaywalk all the time. ABC 10 was there when civil rights attorney John Burris announced the settlement and that SAC PD would also conduct mandatory implicit bias training for officers. All recruits in the academy now have cultural immersion training. We even got a first-hand look at examples of that training when they first started. It was a screening of a movie called Walking While Black. In the room, police officers from all walks of life and members of the community. So that's one of the beauty of the kind of work we get to do. We can bring about change. Quite often this enforcement happens in selective communities and selective neighborhoods. Uh, quite often neighborhoods where there's less pedestrian infrastructure, less crosswalks, less streetlights. Um, and so we see that this is uh, really not very, very equitable. The new law says police can only stop inside a pedestrian for jaywalking if there is, quote, immediate danger of a collision. Now keep in mind, this is the second time Assemblymember Ting attempted to decriminalize jaywalking in California. Now with the governor's signature, the law will go into effect on New Year's Day. You can read more about the Freedom to Walk Act on ABC10.com.